What's going on guys? It's your girl Cassie Lately with Lately Entertainment TV and we are back with another segment of what's going on lately. Now before we even get into the video guys make sure you get this video a thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell, all of that good stuff. Okay now let's see what's happening lately guys. Now a lot of you guys know Pretty Ricky, one of my favorite groups from the early 2000s. Of course they had a the song Grind With Me. One of my personal faves was um, Age Ain't Nothing But A Number. You know what I'm saying? But you know all of that is besides the point. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the video and it's to some of the details that we do know or that's been shared with the public. So pretty much what's going on right now is that he is still in the hospital pretty much fighting for his life. He was critically injured after he was shot doing a robbery outside of the South Florida bowling alley, like I said earlier in the video. So this happened around midnight on Monday in the parking lot. Okay, so this is what the police are saying. They're saying that Baby Blue was just outside with one of his friends chilling next to the car. You know, everything is all good. And out of nowhere, two men approached them and they was armed. So the suspects tried to steal a gold chain, apparently, that he had around his neck. They start fighting. A gun come out of nowhere and then boom, he's hit in the shoulder. And so he was taken to a hospital where he is still there. Like I said, pretty much fighting for his life there, listing him as in critical condition. So that's pretty serious. There was a lot of videos being posted on a few blog sites or on YouTube. I'm not going to post that here because it's kind of graphic. You know, there was a lot of screaming, a lot of yelling. It was just, you know, super unfortunate to think that you can't even obviously be somewhere where you're relaxed, comfortable without some bullshit happening. Like this is ridiculous. Suspects fled from the scene. Once the police got there, the shooting is still under investigation and they're still looking for possible suspects. So once again, guys, we just want to send prayers up to baby blue. Um, I don't know. This is, like I said, this is just very unfortunate, but I do want to open up the conversation of what do you guys think as you become successful, you know, as you start to get money, things like that, should people still return back to their hood and hang out and chill? I would say sell out, but shit, that's what people call it, sell out. Should they just say, you know what, I'm not coming back, I'm not doing it. You know, if y'all want to kick it with me, y'all come out here to where I'm at in the hills. It's like you damn if you do, damn if you don't. So what do y'all think? I want y'all to let me know in the comments, you know, when athletes, singers, rappers get enough money and success, should they just stay away from the hood or those familiar settings altogether? I'm not saying that that's what happened in this situation, but I definitely think that, I don't think he obviously knew that there were any major threats or some BS like this would happen. And we all know you can have all the security in the world, all of the awareness in the world, and some BS can still go on. Praying that Baby Blue just pulls through this, you know, and hopefully join his group at some point, you know, and we see them back on stage and we can just kind of, you know, talk about this and, you know, and I hope this is just not nothing too traumatic, but guys, I'm almost for sure getting shot in this type of manner and getting robbed and, you know, attempted to get robbed, you know, he's going to always remember this. So as of right now, we'll worry about that when we, when we cross that bridge, but right now let's just continue to pray for him. Just keep baby blue in your prayers.